in what ways um, is the course content for both these courses tailored specifically to help professionals in civil engineering respond to the challenges that they face in their line of work? I think that's a great question because in designing these courses I really have considered the industry and considered the individuals in their current work context and what that means is most people work in high pressure environments uh, we've got tight turnover times we've got tight project deadlines and in the middle of all of this you're trying to record things or you're being called to present your project and so I really felt that there was a need to assist people to encourage people to equip them in how to do that better and more efficiently and so I think essentially what the course is aiming to do is really equip people and increase their skills in terms of how do you take an idea and how do you take the vast complexity of a project and describe it efficiently, succinctly, effectively to a particular audience and that's whether you're presenting it in a report or if you're presenting it perhaps in a meeting or a formal presentation. Uh, and I think in essence that's what these courses are doing. They're addressing a need that's been identified in the industry for us to make less paper and communicate better. And so really this course looks at what is international best practice, how do we do this effectively in our day-to-day -day tasks. Can you tell us why have you decided to partner with SciC and bring these particular courses to the civil engineering industry? I think SciC and I have a shared mission and that is really to see the improvement of the profession. Uh, it's an interest in the individual uh, and their personal journey as a professional uh, and it is a desire to see a field of expertise increase and grow in its knowledge and skill by working through the individual. So although I work a lot with teams, that team is always uh, made up of individuals and so I think it's really important when you're talking about something like communication skills and technical communication, I think it's really important to address the individual and SICE has that at its heart as well. It, you know, it's aiming to preserve knowledge, to build knowledge and to develop the profession through the individuals and through their relationships with their community and with the legacy of engineering that we have in this country. And in fact that's something that I talk about quite often when we talk about the need to preserve uh, project information uh, accurately and effectively and it's this idea of us building that legacy in South Africa and I think that's really important that the engineers of tomorrow be able to a observe what we've done here and now and b build on that for the future i think that's really important and i think that's something that sisi and i have in common why are communication skills so important for professionals particularly the ones in the civil engineering industry okay i'm smiling because one of the things that I find myself telling people often is that report writing and presenting in our working environment is not an add-on to engineering. So one of the challenges that, for example, new consulting engineers might have is that they get their first project and they're all excited about the engineering and then they get asked to write a report and often I think the response is, oh, I don't have time for this, or, you know, in a project timeline, they, they push the report writing out because there's work to do, um, and I use those inverted commas on purpose. Um, and I think, I think it's really this idea that the ability to communicate clearly and to communicate a complex idea in a simple way uh, is really key to effective engineering particularly in the civil space because uh, nobody builds a bridge all by themselves. Communication is such an integral part of what professionals in the built environment do. They are constantly working with other people, talking to other people, recording what's being done, setting up what's going to be done. 
and the ability to convey those ideas clearly between parties, I think, is, is really key to the profession. Why are you the person perfect for this job and presenting these courses? Can you tell us more about yourself and your field of expertise? Okay, well for starters I absolutely love it. Um, for me, there is such joy and mental stimulation in being in a room full of people and working with their ideas and hearing their perspective and, and building on what they have. Love that dynamic uh, in the room. And what makes me good at it I think is really my heart uh, for seeing individuals improve and also I think my intellectual interest in technical writing. Um, the idea of, of, and I've said this before, but the idea of really taking those complex ideas and distilling them down and conveying them accurately, I, I find that very challenging. I find it a very exciting thing to do um, and so I think that plays into my absolute love of what I do. Um, I think in terms of connecting with individuals and groups, I think I have a real focus not just on the writing. I do care where you put your commas and your full stops but, but what I care more about is that your ability as a professional is visible in the presentations that you give, in the reports that you write. Uh, I think that's really important uh, for people and you know in terms of my professional background, uh, if I work back from where I am now, um, actually let me tell you it the other way around. Um, I started out my career as a speech language therapist and audiologist and later on I went on to do a non-clinical masters uh, in linguistics in intercultural communication uh, which looks at how people who use English as a language of business uh, when it's their second language how they use that and really looking at patterns of English the world and how we use that as a, as a means of communication uh, which was really fascinating but I was just thinking on my way over here today uh, that my background as a rehab professional uh, is really important to the work that I do today in terms of uh, the skills that I use my professional skills uh, to connect with people and to connect with a group and to really identify what is their need and out of all of the things that I know about technical communication, what is going to be of greatest benefit to this group? So in what ways will attending um, the workshops uh, be helpful to delegates? Okay, that's always a good question. Um, if I were to say to someone, why should you take time out of your busy day? or to a training coordinator, why should you pay for this? I think that the benefit of the course really lies um, in the fresh perspective uh, that you are going to get on something that might be dreadfully boring to you. Um, that, that you're going to get the opportunity to hear some new ideas about what best practice is and where things are right now. Uh, there is a difference between communicating in the corporate world and communicating in academia and for most people uh, report writing is something that harks back to their student days and so I think to really uh, come to understand the difference between those two different types of writing in terms of purpose and audience from a tr presentation skills um, perspective or actually I don't call them presentation skills because the word presentation often is thought of as PowerPoint. It's not a PowerPoint course, note to the audience, not a PowerPoint course. Um, we call it presenting skills because it's about how do you present an idea. Um, everyone is familiar with death by PowerPoint um, and I think these ideas we talk about are really exciting and so I try to equip, uh, I try to open the participants' minds 
to, to just a different way of doing things. It's, it's a very serious, technically based grounding. But as I said earlier, my interest is in people and people communicating with people. And so really the courses are aimed at understanding that and being able to apply that in the context of report writing and presentations. The market is currently saturated with a lot of courses mm -hmm. um, purporting to offer the same um, outcomes. Mm -hmm. What makes your courses different from what's out there um, being uh, provided by other service providers right now? Okay, well for starters I have designed my course based on the needs that I have come across during my work. So uh, I am aware of what is available on the market and in terms of what I have designed, it's really based on what I see. Um, so I read a lot of reports, I get to see the work that people are doing and I listen to, to the frustrations that are being expressed about documents and so what I offer to the participants is something that all is input that really addresses frustrations that are commonly felt in the market. So that's, that's the one thing I think. Secondly is that it is contextual. It is very specifically designed uh, for the uh, civil environment and so I think that adds value to the course. And the third thing that I would say makes the course really valuable is my ability and willingness to zoom in where the participants need me to zoom in. So, you know, any course has to have structure, so obviously it, it has a certain structure to it. But within that, there's a flexibility uh, to take time and opportunity uh, if there is a particular need. So if I'm working with a project team, and that project team are experiencing a particular issue uh, in their report writing, uh, whether it's project reports, progress reports, design reports, whatever, uh, to actually focus on that and spend time speaking to that particular frustration. So in that sense, I think, I think the takeaway from the course is, is improved. And I think the, the value add of coming to a workshop where you know that you're going to be given new information, but you also know that you're going to be given an opportunity to look at your own work in the light of that opportun um, of that information that you're being given. I think that's, that's really important. What outcomes um, can participants attending expect to leave with after attending your workshops that will be immediately helpful to them? Okay, well hopefully one part of immediately helpful is having a slightly different attitude towards um, report writing and presenting. I, I hope to take some of the schlep factor out of report writing and some of the fear factor out of presenting skills. Uh, so I think, I think attitudinally there's an immediate improvement. Uh, secondly, I think that we can hope to see an improvement in terms of understanding the standards better, and thirdly, feeling equipped with some tools of how to actually do this, how do I approach this? Because in writing, often the challenge is, well, I've got all of this information, where do I even start? Um, and so in report writing, I actually walk participants through a process of how do you move from the idea, I have to write this report, to the place where you are ready to hand it over to your client. And so I think, I think that's an immediate outcome that you're going to have an idea of where to start and how to go about it. And the same thing with presenting skills. By the time you leave, you would have had the opportunity to prepare a project presentation from start to finish, and you would have had an opportunity to present that to the group. So you're really going to have a handle on how do I do this the next time when you go back to your office and you are told next week Thursday or you know this afternoon at half past three as it happens sometimes you're not gonna think oh my goodness I've got to do this you're gonna go all right I know how to do this and you're gonna know how to approach it and how to put that information together.
So you're not going to be perfect. Learning is a lifelong journey, but definitely I think that's what you can expect to walk away with. Uh, what outcomes can participants attending expect to leave with uh, after attending the workshops that will be immediately useful to them? Okay, good, good question because I think when you're thinking about attending training there's always that concern that you're going to walk away and go well that was nice or that was fun and then it makes absolutely no difference to your life and I'm very aware of that and so in designing this course um, it's really important to me that people take something away with them and I think the value of both of the workshops that I present lies in the fact that I walk participants through a process uh, and as I said you are a participant so you don't just sit so we take you through a process of how to actually approach writing a report or how do you prepare a presentation and I think that's really important because often it's a big thing and you're thinking, well, how do I even begin? So you'll know how to begin. You will have a better understanding of what best practice is in report writing and in presenting. You're going to know what's good and what isn't. You're going to have had an opportunity to look at your own work and ask yourself what's good and what isn't and hopefully add well, not hopefully, I know you will, add to your skills in both the area of writing or presenting, depending on if you go come to one or both. Um, and so I think that's, that's the real takeaway. You're gonna have practical knowledge, usable knowledge. This is not a theoretical workshop, neither of them are. They are very practical, they are very interactive, and they are designed with you in mind, and not you, the industry, although that's true, but you the individual. I think that's important. Okay, this course is for you. Uh, it is designed for you. It is presented with you in mind. It is not a boring old report writing course. It is not uh, me standing in front of a room for two days talking to you. It is about you and the work that you do uh, and the way that you present your ideas in written or spoken form. And really my job is to encourage you, to share knowledge with you and to equip you to do those things better. So I think it's a priority uh, for you and not just because it's what I do. Uh, it's a priority, take time to do it because communicating your ideas is in everything that you do. So I look forward to seeing you there.